Hey. What's up, boss? Look alive, Gage. What's going on, boss? Hey, got any gear for sale? Sorry, boss. All my stuff's back in Nuka Town. Hey. Need something from me? Hey, boss. What can I do for you? I just wanted to know how you think we're doing. Been a damn fun ride so far. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of trouble we can get into next. That's all. If you say so. Oh, are you feeling lost? Pathetic. Can we limit the ram? Shit. Lost him. Done this hundreds of times. Think you'll be any different? I'm gonna piss on your corpse. Yes, we ran them off. This is no time to piss your bridges. Like we have a show to do. Now get to the stage.
This is fine. I wasn't planning on sleeping tonight anyway. And now... The show you've all been waiting for... Oswald the Outrageous! I'll admit... I didn't think you'd make it this far. I can tell you're different than the usual invaders, so I'll not bother with the usual tricks and illusions I use to scare off the superstitious. When the bombs fell, everything changed. We changed. And somehow, I received a gift. Actual magic. The stuff of legends. Perhaps you'd like to see some. Up. No matter what you do, I can heal my friends, and we will protect what is ours. Ha! Nice.
What are you doing out of costume again? You know Nuka fires people for breaking character. Yes, of course, I'm kidding. But seriously, the clown makeup helps scare the invaders off. And there's a new one in the park. No, no, I don't think that's going to work this time. There's something different about this one. See? I can do that too. Now. Stop squirming. Sorry. I know you can't help it. We just have to hold out till she gets back with a cure. Then we'll drive the raiders out and get the farm back in order. We'll fix this. I promise. There. Back in character. I need to prepare some more surprises for our visitor. So I'll leave you to find your way out. more to this place than you think at first, eh, boss?
needs it. Nice work, boss. from now.
going up. You raiders are all the same. You come into someone's home, steal their belongings, and kill those they care about. I'm not going to let you kill any more of my friends. This is our home, not yours. I'm not your enemy. This can end without bloodshed. We've defended this place for over 200 years. Do you think you are the first outsider I've met that's chosen to brand feral ghouls as monsters? How many of them have you needlessly slaughtered while ignorantly thinking you're doing the world a favor? You've been here for 200 years? Why? We worked here as entertainers until the bombs fell. The radiation may have changed us, but we decided to make this place our home. Over time, the illness took the minds of my friends and those that we love. I am going to find a cure and fix my friends before someone like you comes along and exterminates us all. Ghouls like your friends, it's too late for them. The radiation changed them forever. So you're admitting my friends are sick and yet you try to kill them anyway? I'd say that makes you the only monster around here. It's not a sickness. The radiation has consumed their minds. They've become feral. You're wrong. Rachel is going to find a way to cure them. We're going to fix this! My beloved left this place years ago to find a cure to this disease. In return, I swore that I'd keep our people safe by defending our home. When Rachel walks back through those gates with the cure in hand, then you'll see, everyone will see, that I was right. Yeah, but what if she never returns? How long are you gonna wait? I will stay here for as long as it takes. I've already watched 200 years pass. What makes you think I can't wait 200 more? If there is a cure, the only way she'll find it is with your help. Maybe you're right. If Rachel is still out there, I'll find her. And we'll search for this cure together. I'll gather what remains of my friends, and we'll leave this place in your care. Don't worry about the radiation. It will no longer be a burden to you and your kind. Here, you should have this. Consider it an apology for misjudging you.
Oh, shit. Brad's here, boss. We ought to steer clear. Chained up on the other side. Yeah, what's up? Well, I'll be damned. You actually did it. Nuka World is ours. All of it. Why are you acting surprised? Hey, no disrespect, boss. You've just got to understand. We ain't ever been on ground this solid before. Now that we're here, 
Let's keep this party going. I'm thinking it's time we set our sights on the Commonwealth. Why bother with the Commonwealth? Don't we have everything we need over here? That sounds like Coulter talking, boss. Ain't a good sign. Taking back Nuka World is a big friggin' deal, no question. But it can't be the end of things. Needs to be a beginning. These bunch of savages need a goal, something to focus on. If they ain't got it, they'll wind up turning on each other. In an operation this big, we're gonna need more of, well, everything. Nobody's gonna hand it to us. We need to take it. Commonwealth has a ton of shitty little settlements that could be put to better use. Don't you think? Sounds like you've had this plan from the beginning. The ideas crossed my mind, sure. But I'm just making suggestions here. You're the one that needs to give the go-ahead. We don't gotta rush into this headlong. We take it slow. Be smart about it. If we're aiming to grab a piece of the Commonwealth, it's going to take the right contacts and a lot of muscle. Right? I say we go have ourselves a chat with Shank. He's the point man for everything entering and leaving Nuka World. He floated this idea before. Been itching to talk to you ever since you took over. So I bet he's got a good idea of where to start. He's in charge of the caravan, so odds are you can find him somewhere near the marketplace. You trust this Shank guy? You ought to know by now. I don't trust anyone. But Shank's on the level. I got no reason to think he'd screw us. Especially if he stands to profit as much as anyone. If you're vouching for this Shank guy, that sounds good enough to me. Yeah, sure. How else do you think he ended up at the top of my Christmas list? Just head over and talk to the guy. He'll back up what I'm saying about the Commonwealth. And while you're doing that, I've already got the gangs working on getting Nuka World's power plant up and running. It's about time we shed some real light around here and let people know we mean serious business. Oh. And if you need my advice and you want me to keep tagging along, you've got it. Heads up. What you need? Okay, boss. Anything in
You're lucky Nish is in charge. If it were up to me, just when I thought things couldn't get any worse. You had to turn. Heads up. Yeah? What is it? Yeah. All right. Look alive. Yeah, say the word, boss. I'm on it. should rethink where you stand. Unless you're a fan of watching. You know, in a lot of instances, poor life just... for trouble just some good deals hey boss gotta admit it was good to see Coulter go down he scared the hell out of me gave me nightmares now, I'm not planning to give anyone nightmares thank goodness I'll sleep a lot better having you in charge so, uh, what do you think? About running Nuka World, I mean. Figure it must be a pretty tough job, keeping all these raiders in line. I didn't choose this. I was just trying not to get killed by a maniac in power armor. I guess any one of us would have done the same thing in your situation. Well... I'm sure you've got more important stuff to do than talk to me. Or were you here to pick something up? What have you got? A little bit of everything, really. General supplies, some components, that kind of thing. So, what can I get for you? Let's see what you have. Right away, boss. Supplies of all kind for your journeys across the Commonwealth. Oh, uh, hello, boss. Congratulations on taking out Coulter. I'm, uh, sure you'll do great. 
why would you congratulate me? It's not like you're free to go. Well, to be honest, I, I don't know you yet, boss. Sorry I'm so nervous. I didn't mean any disrespect, boss. I just don't know where I stand with you, and I, I don't want to end up pissing you off. That, and well, I'd be lying if I said we weren't all wondering how you plan to run the place. I mean, this is your show now. You can do anything you want. You can run Nuka World just like Coulter. Business as usual, or... You could... Um, well, you know... Get rid of the Raiders if you don't exactly agree with how they're running the place. Well, I admit, I didn't like being roped into this job in the first place. Then this might be your chance to make some changes around here. The gangs that call this place home are already at each other's throats. Now, you could risk your own neck and try to keep them from tearing each other apart, or you could do the right thing and put them in the ground. And when it's all said and done, you're still running this place from your fancy house on the mountain over there. Except now, you won't have to sleep with a gun under your pillow. I'd have to kill... all of them? No, of course not. If you're serious about this, then you'll have to take down the leaders of the gangs. That means putting a bullet into Nisha, Mason, Mags, and Mags's brother, William. Once you do that, the gangs will collapse and Nuka Town goes back to being a free trading post. I should, uh, probably stop talking about this out here. Just keep what I said in mind. Anyway, I'm the closest thing to a doctor around here. I treat everyone, raider, trader, or traveler alike. Got some medical supplies too, if you're looking for those. A doctor? How did you end up in this place? Well, it's a bit of a story. I used to live at a settlement west of here. We got hit by Coulter and his gang back when he had one. It was a tough fight. We killed some of theirs, they killed some of ours. They were wounded on both sides, but nobody could get to them. I called out for a ceasefire on the condition that I'd see to their injuries as well as ours. Saved a few lives that day, including Coulter's. When he set up this place, he came back for me. Said if I came along, He'd make sure his guys wouldn't hit our settlement again. Now this place is my home. Anyway, anything I can do for you? Treatment or supplies? Not right now. Very well. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'll stay in line. You really should rethink where you stand. Unless you're a fan of watching your back. <laughs>